Hey y'all, this is Pigeon Master, and I'm here to tell you about my favorite Pokemon. Well, my favorite Pokemon, not one Pokemon, but I'm going to tell you straight up. It's the Rolf Evolutionary Family. Why the Rolf Evolutionary Family? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you about. Okay, to start it up, Rolf. Well, if you ask me, Rolf looks like a cute, kind of short, white and green version of number four. You know it, I know it, let's be real. When I was playing Ruby, you know, in the first part of Ruby, you're facing Wally, the first Pokemon, it has to be a Ralph. When I first saw it, Ralph was saying, Oh, you've got to be kidding me! That's kind of cool. So I was thinking, Hey, I want one. Waited, waited. Oh, look, a Ralph. I caught a Ralph. Female, Trace, and really, really awesome. Okay, ever since I caught the Rob, I've been taking an instant liking to it. So I'm training it, training it, training it, until right about the second gym where I evolved it. Into a Curlia. Okay, to tell you the truth, I don't really like Curlia that much. Sure, Curlia's cute and all, and the Buffalo Ralph's pretty hard Gardevoir. Eh, that's what I think about it. Just one big meh. Just a ballerina. And it can be male, too, so that's kind of odd. Well, maybe not, since by the time Shakespeare, little boys can add the women, since the women can't allow to act in the Shakespeare, you know, Shakespeare theaters. So, yeah, that kind of justifies something. But not that much. I still, however, consider Curlia to be a cute Pokemon, just because of just, she's Curlia, that's it. And now thinking, you know, seeing future Diamond and Pearl episodes, I'm thinking, hey, look at the Curlia, that's kind of cool. Yes. So yeah, that's it. Now nothing else to say about Curlia, because I got a lot more to say about this evolutionary form, Gardevoir. That's it, Gardevoir, my favorite Pokemon in Generation Three. And no, it's not because of Rule Thirty Four. No, I didn't know about Gardevoir Rule Thirty Four for quite a while now. So don't ask. It's my favorite Pokemon whatsoever, and all I can say is that it kicks butt. It just does. I mean, I've trained my Gardevoir ever since the routes to level 92 without cheating until I got my action, my, well, no, my Game Shark. Then I put level 100, but either way, it doesn't, you know, help much. Just about eight levels. And by then, my other, a starter, Blaziken? Yeah, Blaziken's cool. Yeah, yeah, I like Blaziken. I've already been traded, so I don't have anyone on my team, on my Hall of Fame, except for this Gardevoir. And by that, I mean Miss Master. Why? Why not? Now, okay, I'll show you a video of it, me playing Ruby, show my Hall of Fame, and stuff like that. Just hold on, let me just get it. This is my third Hall of Fame, Gardevoir, level 92, 21775 is my D number, my Pokemon Ruby. So... Sequoia, Crobat, I don't know how I got it. The Shedinja, level 47, I don't think I've ever used it that much. Second, Sequoia again, Crobat again, I still don't know how I got it, because I don't have any more. Garo 63, then this Tokyo Tech, I think, I think this is going for Coliseum. Okay, my first Hall of Fame, Blaziken, oh, what is it, 55? Awesome. Oh, wait, is that female? Yeah, who cares? Walrein, I think, got in a trade. Metagross, I got some Triple and Call C, that's how I remember it. Flygon, I got naturally. Crobat, Trade, and Gardevoir. Hawthorne theme, level 61. See, that is how my favorite one is Gardevoir. I saved her for last. And if you save something for last, it usually means you use it as your favorite. That, yeah, that's true, because, wait it, I like Gardevoir. There's nothing else to say about it, just I like Gardevoir that much. This Gardevoir is so special to me. That I've never, tri never put it on Pearl. That's how good it is. Look, I was rather, hey, I'm just gonna, you know, get a, you know, hack a Gardevoir and just put it in place of my mess after. Because, I don't know, it's just too special for me just to get it, put it away on Pearl. And the only way for me to convince myself to, you know, put it, place it on Pearl is if my Ruby doesn't work. That's it. We even I have Sapphire, so I'll just put it there. His current moveset is Psychic, Calm Mind, Thunderbolt, and Ice Punch. Don't ask where to get the Ice Punch. That's, that's for a hack. 
And it, yes, it, I know it knows that I put Emerald, but I don't have Emerald. So I'll just hack it. It's kind of a legal hack. So by then, Gardevoir is my favorite Pokemon Generation 3 until, well, this guy shows up. Gallade. You know, Gallade, I couldn't believe Nintendo had thought of this dude. He just took Gardevoir, put her all male, male sword arms, I like swords, by the way, and just make him all physical. And, and to see on top of that, in a leaf blade. The most optimist grassroot move I can think of other than Solar Beam. Yeah, Gallade's that awesome. Generation 4, thank you for Gallade. Okay, back to Pearl. You know, I met Pearl, I made sure I get a Gallade, no matter what. So I got my Dawn Stone, and I had the Curlia to get, to get one Pearl, because they said Rolf was kind of hard to get, and Ruby. You know it, I know that's real. So, apparently, I lost to Cynthia the first time I beat, you know, tried to beat 4. However, I did manage to see all the Pokemon before then, so I got the Index before I got beat the Elite Four. And what happens next? Gallade and Togekiss. Boom. Beat the thing, beat Cynthia's Garchomp, and all that crud. Got my Gallade. Okay, I'm currently get, putting up my Pearl, just, just for you guys to see my, gal, my Gallade. It's nothing special, because I haven't EV trained him, but... Maybe in the future, if I get my Wi-Fi on, then, you know, maybe you could use them a lot. But, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is my first Hall of Fame on almost 7. Note that some of these guys are hacked, even though this is, things hacked. But, yeah, they're only hacked just to get them. Their evolutions, I got, I got naturally, because I don't have a natural PDS. So, if you ask me about hacking your generation 4 Pokemon, no. I don't have actually played DS or all that stuff. And plus, you know, I, I don't have access that much to things, to um, Magator or Electrofire, although I have them. Because it took me a long while to get them from GTS. So, anyway, this is a Gallade. Sir Master, guess where I got that from? Level, well, level 53 at the time. It's currently like level 60 or something. Hold on. Let me just show you it's, cur it's currently now. Where's that? Okay. Where is he? Ah, here it is. Sir Master, level 60, mind plate. And all of his glory. Adam and Nature. Yes, I made Adam and Nature. Nice attack. Uh, you can't see it, but it's. Cycle Cut, Leaf Blade, Night Flash, and X Scissor. Four of the greatest moves of all time when considering from a sword guy like Golly. And no, I'm not going to use it in Wi Fi battles or any battles for that matter, you know, that involve, you know, competitive battles. Because this is a single player. Not using it on Wi Fi. So yeah, Golly is now my favorite Generation 4 Pokemon. Really? Not exactly because it's from the Rawls family, but it helps. But it's really because of the sword arms. He said, I don't know, I, I'm a little stickler, kind of with the swords, but dude, he has sword arms. Or tonsil arms, or whatever. So, yeah, that's why I like Golly. He's a physical Gardevoir who can, if I have, you know, I have emeralds and stuff, I can make another ice punch, then there'll be a really good move set for this guy. So, that's why I like Golly. Because he's awesome, in the correct family. And, oh, swords. That's kind of the thing. And that's my favorite Pokemon in the Rob Evolutionary family. Okay, it's been way past nine minutes, so I'm just going to end this video now. So that's it. Peace, and have a nice day.